very sad news to report and not something uh, we don't really talk about this type of music on the channel, but how could you ignore this? The guy is an absolute icon. The Margaritaville legend Jimmy Buffett has passed away at the age of 76 uh, late last night, September 1st. A statement on his official website reads, quote, Jimmy passed away peacefully on the night of September 1st, surrounded by his family, friends, music, and dogs. He lived his life like a song till the very last breath and will be missed beyond measure by so many. He is survived by his wife, Jane, son, Cameron, and daughters, Savannah and Sarah. Of course, he is most certainly best known for not only his uh, duet with the legendary country singer Alan Jackson on It's Five O'Clock Somewhere, uh, but also his massive song, Margaritaville, which was inspired by a visit he took to a Mexican restaurant in Austin, Texas, before flying to his home in Key West. Recalling in an interview with The Republic, he and a friend were at the restaurant drinking margaritas, and he said, quote, and I kind of came up with that idea of this is just like Margaritaville. She kind of laughed at that and put me on the plane and I started working on it. He wrote some of the song on the plane and finished while on the drive back home in the Keys saying, quote, there was a wreck on the bridge and we got stopped for about an hour. So I finished the song on the seven mile bridge, which I thought was apropos. Margaritaville is probably the first song that people think of when they think of Jimmy Buffett. Uh, but for me, it's actually Cheeseburger in Paradise. When I was a kid, there was a restaurant about 45 minutes or so up the road from me called Cheeseburger in Paradise. Uh, obviously Jimmy Buffett themed and I used to go there with my parents and my grandparents uh, the my grandparents are massive Buffett fans. Uh, unfortunately, it's no longer open. I think it's like a brunch place or something now. But there is a Margaritaville restaurant here in Ohio uh, up by Cleveland that I believe is still open. And if it is, I'm sure it's going to be wildly, wildly packed today in memory of the legend. A couple of things real quick that I did find uh, interesting when I was reading some of these articles that had came out about his death uh, is that, one, he performed on over 50 studio albums, which is just insane, absolutely massive uh, catalog that this guy had. And for two, in more recent years, he was actually not a huge fan of margaritas anymore. Uh, he told the New York Times in 2018 that margaritas had gotten too sweet for him, uh, so he made the switch to tequila on the rocks with a slice of lime. Rest in peace to Yacht Rock legend, Jimmy Buffett. All right, though, that's going to do it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.